Today we compare two popular wireless systems from Rode and Sennheiser. Both are compact digital wireless systems that are ideal for DSLR cameras. The Sennheiser AVX retails for about $700 and the new Rode Wireless Go is around $200. Unlike many of the other subjective comparison tests out there, we're offering this as purely a technical test of the audio performance of the transmitter and receiver using a precision audio analyzer. This shows the true capabilities of both these devices and removes all the variables such as microphones, room noise and subjective impressions. Will the AVX outperform the much cheaper wireless go? Well, let's find out. For this test, we will use our 515 audio analyzer from Audio Precision. With the audio analyzer, we will take four key measurements. The first measurement will be the overall gain to show the strength of the output signal. The second measurement will be the total harmonic distortion plus noise to measure distortion. In the third test, we'll measure signal to noise ratio to measure noise. Our fourth measurement will be frequency response to show how smooth the sound output is across the audible range. Both receivers are mounted on our DXA Micro Pro Plus audio adapter, which is our interface device for DSLR cameras. The Wireless Go is attached to the left TRS input and the AVX plugs directly into the right XLR input on the adapter. Both receivers are set to the highest output level. Both channels of the adapter are set to low gain and stereo output to show each channel independently. The trim controls are set to provide 0 dB of gain on both channels, so they are identical we will feed a 1 kHz tone at a nominal value of minus 30 dBU from the audio analyzer into both transmitters. The signal indicators on the adapter turn green to indicate good levels. This will measure the amount of gain each system provides which will indicate which has the stronger output signal. We can see that the AVX provides 15.7 dB of gain, while the Go provides slightly less at 13.5 dB. These are similar enough that we can assume they're about equal. This will show the amount of total harmonic distortion plus noise. The AVX output produces a lot of jitter, which makes the reading bounce around. It averages at about 1.0%, while the very steady output of the Go is much less at 0.07%. Clearly, the Go produces less distortion. This important test will indicate how much hiss the unit will generate. The higher the number, the better. The AVX reads 71.5 dB, while the Go is considerably higher at 76.9 dB. However, both of these readings are excellent and will give you great results. This test will send a sweep signal starting at a low 20 Hz all the way to 20 kHz to test the response of the system. The graph should be as flat as possible. The points where the signal drops off 3 dB on both the bottom and top ends are where the measurements are made. The AVX drops below 20 Hz on the bottom end and gets very erratic at the high end. Further testing showed that it drops off at around 15 kHz. The Go drops off at 85 Hz on the bottom end and about 16 kHz on the high end. Both of these results are very good and indicate that either device is easily able to record voice which is well within this range. The AVX will have more bottom end when recording low frequencies such as sound effects and music. In this comparison shootout test, the Rode Wireless Go comes in as the winner with its solid overall performance. Both wireless devices work very well and will no doubt give you excellent audio. However, the Go is especially attractive with its outstanding performance and low price. 
Both the Rode Wireless Go and the Sennheiser AVX can be easily mounted on our DXA Micro Pro Plus audio adapter, which gives you easy monitoring and control options. For more information, visit our website at beachtech.com.